Hello, hello. Well, I'm back on the welly update. So, do you know what? I've had a welly nightmare, haven't I, really? Um, so you might remember, I had a new pair of, uh, I think it was Dunlop Purifort uh, wellies, thermal ones, uh, only probably a month ago, maybe less than that. And they came, here's a bit of an update, they came. So these are straight out the box. They were 70 quid, there's no VAT on them because they're safety wellies. That was including delivery. Uh, I think I bought them, well I bought them from a company online, I won't say which company, I'm not promoting them. Um, right, so we've got here Dunlop, Dunlop Puro Fort. Okay. I wore them for a week and they were too tight and they were killing me, killing my feet. So, I actually swapped wellies with my brother. My brother's now wearing the uh, the Dunlops and not having a problem with them. It's, as I explained before, it's my weird bony feet, not ideal. So, uh, Warmer Brothers wellies, brilliant. They started leaking, here we go. I got a hole in my wellies. Oh my God. Right, I have actually probably got a hole in one of these wellies, so I'm gonna get very wet. How deep is it? So I got wet feet. So I've been wearing my brother's wellies for a week or two weeks or three weeks, I can't remember when. And so I had to buy another pair of wellies and these are the pair I bought. Now, um, let me just get on my phone next. I've got to look up what they're called because you probably want to know, don't you? Uh, I did bookmark them. So I followed advice on what you lot said and I thought, let me just, I got, here we are. These are, these are step lights, Bikina step light wellies, uh, full safety Wellington boots. Now I got them off Amazon. I think they were about 45 quid. Let's have a look. I have no idea what these are like. Basically I followed your recommendations and people said these are really good. So that was a quick opening. Um, these are supposed to be thermal. They don't feel very thermally. Um, okay, so they steel toe cap as usual. Um, lining, green lining, look at that. Let's do the sniff test. Oh, I like a well. <laughs> you probably know me by now, I like a welly sniff. And sniffing logs. Oh, these don't pass the welly sniff test. They're not as nice as the other ones. Prefer the Dunlop sniffers. Right, so let's have a look. Chunky tread, look at that. Can you see that? I'm just gonna turn this camera around. I don't know whether the light's very good in here. Oh. That is, there we go, that's better. You can see the tread, look at that. That's like tractor tread, like that. Um, got their little logo on the side. Uh, again, I have to emphasize, I'm not product placement on this. I'm just, I, I wasn't um, I wasn't paid to promote these. I am doing, the, all the videos I've done with the wellies, apart from one lot I was given, I've had to buy the wellies myself. Um, and I'm not paid by the manufacturers to say they're cool. So, um, which is probably good for you guys because you get a truthful review. I just put my hand inside. There's two little indentations just about here, uh, either side of there, which is a bit weird. Don't know what that's for. Uh, let's get the other one out. Oh, oh look. Well, that's interesting. They've chucked in the insole separately. Now, someone did say to me actually where I might have messed up with the um, with, with the Dunlops is that there was an insole in the, in the bottom of the welly which I could have taken out because you might remember the top of the welly was rubbing on the top of my foot and I didn't realise that till after I gave them to my brother so I didn't know that you could take the insole out so possibly if I'd done that they might not have rubbed. Anyway it's quite interesting they put those in separately which is quite a good idea because not everyone probably likes these. Remove and dry daily. I don't think anyone's going to bother removing those and dry daily. Let's put those on one side. Um, my first impressions of these, I thought they were thermal, but they, they don't feel very thermally on the, on the rubber there. That doesn't feel very, I presume that the thermal is under the bottom, but I wouldn't say these feel insulated at all. There's no lovely warm lining or anything on them. They're not much different from a normal welly, I'd say. Um, so either they've sent me the wrong sort or the, their idea of thermal is very different from what I've had with uh, like the Dickies, um, wellies or some of the other ones they're very light as well compared with those so my first impressions are i can't believe he's going to keep my feet that warm uh i think it said to minus five but um 
nice green in, in, inner. Uh, I was tempted to go back and buy what I'd had before with those dickies because I like those. Uh, and I, ooh, look, I just realised they got a funny angle as well. I was tempted to go back to the dickies, but I thought, you know what, I'll give these a go. So I'm going to stick with these. I think they're more of a summer welly, really, to be honest. I'm going to stick with these uh, Burkina wellies and we'll see how we go with those. But I will give you an update. Some of you are interested in welly. Look at my hair. Some of you are interested in my welly reports. I think uh, sometimes it's quite good to have someone trialling them that isn't paid to be for product placement, which is what I've been doing. Uh, as you know, my Dunlops, I felt, were really uncomfortable. Right, so I'll be wearing these from now on. Let, let's see how we go.